husband. This is a word for some of you. In the, 19, in the 1300s, another word, husband man, came to mean a farmer or a tiller of the soil. And the word husbandry, H-U-S-B-A-N-D-R-Y, widened to mean farming and agriculture in general, including the raising of livestock, poultry, and such. The latest sense of husbandry survives today. The word husband has its roots. The word husband has its roots, y'all, in the word husbandry, husbandman. Remember, this word meant a farmer or a tiller. I have a lot of plants in my home and I had a hard time finding any of them that's dead because my precious family member, that's my medical assistant that helps me with everything. I make sure that she gets rid of them and I don't keep dead things around me very long. I My flowers I get every week. And just before I threw these out, I said, okay, let me keep these because I want to show my people something. This is the worst looking flowers that I have in my space right now. And I don't know if you can see this particular one, but this one right here is drooping. Can you see this one drooping? It's kind of brown. This one is kind of brown. Y'all see that? The word husband comes from the word husbandry, meaning a farmer or a tiller of the soil. A husband, a man, knows how to tend to his garden. A man knows that in order for the woman to be to him, what's best, he has to first know how to work the land. <laughs> Baby! If you want to bump a crop, let me tell you something. She needs to lose weight. You better get your fat ass off of here, broad. Don't you bring that S-H-I-T on my thing. Plays the music. B-I-T-C-H. Don't mess with my vibe. That's what he did. His language, not mine. Brother, do you want beautiful flowers? Do you want a plant that's gorgeous? Husband, husbandry farmer, you got to know what to do to bring forth. You got to know what to do to get a beautiful plant. If you don't give your flowers water, don't expect this baby. You want beauty? You want femininity? You can't rough ride me, Negro. A husband comes from the word husbandry. Husband man knows how to tend and till the land. When you use all your time to rail about a woman, she don't know how to ride it, baby. You don't know how to work it, bruh. And I ain't just talking about the bed. Why are you asking? Wait, wait. Whoa. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Share, share, share. If you got babies, beware. If you got babies, beware. If you got babies, beware. Y'all know I don't talk like that. The words I just used, I was quoting these disgusting ratchets. Kevin Samuels. What you, what you say? This is who the men defended. Got a big dick? Huh? You have a big dick? 
I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron no, Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, nigga, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. <laughs> Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? Okay. Okay, Kevin. Okay. Vicky Hayden. Okay. Why don't you hate him, bro? The man that's caping for him? Why don't you? This okay with you? This forgivable? Y'all gonna still sit out there and say, but he speaks some truth, though. While he's sitting up there asking a man about whether or not he got a big eggplant. I'm not saying the man is gay. He said he ain't. I'm just trying to say it's strange. Back to my point. The word husband comes from husbandry, husband man. From the 1300s, it means a farmer, one that tills the land. You can't get no rose and want your woman to be sleek and beautiful and feminine and sexy. Watch this. You don't water her. You don't give her life. There's no sunshine. A plant, a flower that's properly nurtured, a garden that has the potential to give you fruit, baby. The woman has the power to bless your life so much you can eat from the fruit we give if we're properly nurtured. But guess what else you have to do with your garden? Sometimes there are threats and sometimes you have to put up a fence to protect the garden. Sometimes farmers put scarecrows on the farm to prevent threats. Sometimes there are squirrels Sometimes they're insects. Sometimes there are other beasts that will come. But a good husband, a good farmer ensures that there's nurturing life. They take good care. Watch this. Once a good farmer plants the seed, Back up, Vicky. Back up, Vicky. Back up, Vicky. Don't even talk about planting the seeds. Because, see, some of you ain't mad enough. You don't even know how to work a woman. God, today, you spend all your time on the internet mad that you can't get one. Talk about you high value. Please, high value, man. Show me your high value counterpart. As a husband, what did it, what, 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 what was one of the definitions? Husbandry, tiller of the land, right? When you're tilling something, guess what, bruh? You don't even get to just pick a piece of land and start throwing out seeds. When you till something, it means to prepare the land for the raising of crops as by plowing and harrowing, cultivate. So you can't rough ride us, fool! Even though there are some difficult elements, even when you're preparing the land, You've got to get the land ready before you can even sow into it. Oh my God. Oh my God, husband. Oh my God. In the beginning, it's a lot of work. But how many of you all know that once you work the land, God today, once you plant the seed, once you ensure it's protected, that's why I said you brothers are supposed to be providers and protectors. How many of you all know that the earth after that, God today, automatically starts producing fruit? God today! So when you spend all your bussy time on your social media platforms, 
railing about the woman you can't get. Do the front loading work. And after that, season after season, baby, it'll be automatic. After that, for the most part, you're just doing maintenance. You'll look up one day and you'll be like, look at all this beauty. What does a garden give you? A beauty can, a garden gives you beauty. God today. A, gar a garden gives you life. garden gives you sustenance. A garden gives you pleasure. But you ain't no farmer, bro. You a thief. Woo, that's good, Vicky. You're not the tiller. You're not the husband. You are that squirrel. You're that insect that just wants to take from the food of the garden and not pay the price to own it, to have it, and to deserve the fruits of it. Woo! You're not deserving of the farm. You're not the farmer. You're the thief that the fence has to be erected to protect her from. I'm always defending the black man. We women have a lot of work to do. But today is your day, my dear brothers. You don't get to say, she's a horrible woman. She run her mouth too much. She don't listen. She's fat. She's overweight. Let me tell you something. I teach this in my course all the time. I told you guys I only know maybe one or two practitioners that teach this. The law of attraction is not you attract what you want. You attract what you are. You don't attract what you want. You attract what you believe and you attract what you are. In other words, if you are not truly energetically vibrating as a quote unquote high value man, you can't trick spirit. Woo! You can't trick the metaphysical. You ain't attracting it because you ain't it. That's not from the dictionary. That's from the dictionary. That's not from the dictionary. That's from the dictionary. And you're frustrated because you can't physically force. So he goes from saying, be beautiful, lose weight, to be submissive, be charming. Some of those traits are spiritual. You're forcing it because you are not a husband. You're not tending to your garden. Because if you did it right, she automatically submits 